a quick digestible recap of the top business school news sponsored by Center Court, our virtual admission events. I'm your host, Christy Bleizepper, and I'll be highlighting the most important P&Q stories you might have missed. So let's get to it. Number one, Deloitte announces major B-School initiatives. One of the biggest consulting companies in the world is also one of the biggest employers of business school graduates. So it's news when Deloitte announces a new partnership with a leading B-School, even more so when it announces more than half a dozen of them. Deloitte this month unveiled the names of six universities and colleges that will participate in the second year of its Future of Work Institute, bridging the gap between what the candidates learn in B-School and what the market demands. The business schools at Boston University, Florida State University, Howard University, the University of Nebraska, the University of Southern California, and Dallas College will follow in the footsteps of 10 B-Schools that hosted Deloitte's groundbreaking curriculum in 2021, when 250 graduated with micro-credentials and new workplace strategy. The full story is up now in our news tab. Number two, UNC Keenan Flagler finds an interim dean. Last week, we reported that Keenan Flagler Dean Doug Shackelford was calling it quits, effective, well, almost immediately. Now the school has announced that it found an interim replacement in longtime finance professor Jennifer Conrad. Conrad is a former associate dean for academic affairs, an award-winning teacher, and she designed one of the first courses in the school's industry-leading online MBA program. I will work to maintain the considerable momentum that we have achieved together in so many areas across the school, Conrad wrote in an email to colleagues. The good news is that we have an outstanding leadership team and deeply dedicated staff in place, and they all deserve our thanks. You can find the full story now on our homepage. Number three, total cost at our 2023 top ranked executive MBAs. Over on our sister site, poets and quants for execs, we compiled and compared the total cost of all the executive MBA programs from our most recent composite ranking. Executives considering the advanced business degree should know that they're looking at a hefty investment, whatever program they choose. The cheapest BYU Marriott is going to come in at just over 50,000. A program at the top of our ranking will set you back more than 200,000. The good news? The career coaching, professional networks, and resume boosts in EMBA brings can lead to significant career advancement in future years. Take a look at the full list now at poetsandquantsforexecs.com. Number four, our weekly roundup of news you can use. No matter where you are in your MBA journey, we bring several helpful stories for you this week. First up, if you're a current MBA student or hoping to be one in the near future, check out this story highlighting the 15 biggest surprises of MBA graduate. This spring, we surveyed graduates from 75 top business schools to ask what surprised them the most. Their advice could help you avoid some common MBA missteps. The story is up now on our homepage. Next, for those looking for the right programs, we have the latest 2024 class profiles from a host of large programs this week, including Chicago Booth, Yale School of Management, and Harvard Business School. You can find these and other class profiles from the top B schools in our admissions tabs. Finally, if Harvard is on your MBA dream list, don't miss the latest in our MBA handicapping series, HBS interview traps for a 780 GMAT types. Our experts give the lowdown to a Microsoft software engineer with stellar stats on the kinds of questions that he can expect in an HBS interview. And that's it for this week's Must Reads Recap. I also want to alert all the school seekers out there to Center Court's upcoming MBA festival events. Our next series, The MBA in Your Career, is happening October 4th through 5th, and you can register for free on our events tab. For those interested in online MBAs, our next backstage event is November 15th through 16th. Register now for free. Again, I'm Christy Bleizeffer, and you can join me next week right here for a recap of what's important in the world of business education. Thanks for listening, and as always, stay informed.